there are two vastly different priorities depending on your view of life. There is a set of priorities that would be typical for those who have God in their life, and another quite different set of priorities that would be more characteristic of those who oppose the idea of God. In the case of a God-centered life, you are continually doing things to better understand God and please Him. If you do not believe in God, then your life will be filled with getting all you can in terms of possessions, security, comfort and pleasure. In that world the losses you suffer, the disappointments can be devastating and you may have to reset your priorities. In that world you open the door to many concerns that can graduate to being worries or worse. So many of the issues of life can overcome you. Maybe it is the bills you cannot pay, or see that soon you will not be able to pay. Deaths and illness are inevitable and may completely destroy your plans, new priorities required. All the unexpected things have the potential to change you, your personality, and your way of life. Those choosing a godless life may have a great deal of worldly things, but never any stability. Life does not have to be miserable. It will never be great, but it can be peaceful and secure, and in that case there can be varying degrees of happiness. Very few know what it means to be in the body of Christ and how to achieve that state. Religions certainly do not know but take God and His Word in an unconcerned and casual way. There is just one thing you need to get right in life, and it is to find God and get into a relationship with Him, then in faithfulness receive the crown of life. If you are able to do this, your priorities in life will be very different. Additionally, you will not have all the concerns and worries that plague those without a relationship with God. Of course you will have concerns and suffer when things go wrong, but you will not be overcome by them to the point of changing who you are. You know of the temporary nature of this existence and that there is something far better in your future. The key priorities will not change. Your focus remains to live for Christ and the gospel. In fact, your efforts will intensify as you inch closer to your end. It is interesting how tragedy for those who do not have God in their life will often move them further from God, even blaming God. One of the key aspects of life is the character of people, of society, and that can be seen in morality, in ethical behavior. When God and His Word are not present, moral and ethical matters are decided by what people dictate, and that means hundreds of personal beliefs. In that mess there is no standard of morality. God is very definitive, and thus we have something solid. Additionally, we have a standard by which God can make judgments. God can be perfectly fair, and each person can make choices that determine their success or failure. It is no wonder that those without God are so uncomfortable, so insecure in a world of uncertainty. God removes the uncertainty when He is acknowledged. Those in the body of Christ have the priorities that assure they are living in a way to succeed. They know good from evil, and the world without God is full of uncertainty. You need to insist on evidence, things that allow your understanding such that you are convinced you have the truth. These six books can help you to be successful,